Hello guys, me Carl Sensen's aka Happy Carly957 and I have a lot of breaking news to focus on. Some there's basically three of them that I ran from one Jayski sign that I've read. So the first one is Chase Briscoe. He's moving to the number 14 Stuart Hunt Racing Ford in hopes of running for rookie of the year. So if he doesn't have a second or a third one especially Austin Cindric, then I guess he'll be the only driver to basically win Rookie of the Year, so there it is. And then the second one that I want to respond to is Eric Jones. I think I heard he's going to the number 43 Richard Petty Motorsports Chevy, and once and for all, he was a candidate for Hendrick Motorsports, but I don't think he had the funding to really right in a competitive seat for that team so so as the thumbnail in the title says for my main YouTube discussion today is the reinstatement of Kyle Larson you know NASCAR officials looked at him they read his essay that he posted on the web, on the internet I can tell you Kyle Larson is back, he is loaded, he is energetic, I mean, I think NASCAR's seen a big change in him like six to seven months ago, ever since the Easter Day fiasco, especially on the Ma Monza Madness with Landon Castle, so, so I'm going to read off a transcript that I read on Jayski on my laptop, so here it is. NASCAR today announced that the reinstatement of Kyle Larson will happen starting January 1st, 2021. However, they state that in order for him to improve his well-being with the community, they will prioritize his diversity and inclusion across motorsports. And then they also say that he has fulfilled the requirements set by NASCAR and has taken a lot of voluntary measures in order to educate himself, including the younger folks, that he is ready and loaded and ready to create a fan base that, that knows that he had to go for this adversity, you know? And then let's keep reading. So while his indefinite suspension has been lifted, it's going to take a few months until NASCAR works out all the bugs and see where he'll land. But more likely it's Hendrick Motorsports, number 57 or the 5. Rick Hendry hasn't decided yet. So. so in terms of the reinstatement, especially speaking engagements, he'll have to do at least three years of like I would say community service, but he can relax now. He can be himself. He can go across the country unless the COVID-19 pandemic allows it. So basically, he just knows that within the African-American community, this is really tough for those that say, hey, I want to make it into the sport. I know my mistakes. I know I've know how to win races, you know, especially six of them, so. Okay. So back to the essay or the article. He will also help the Urban Youth Racing School, like, drive and grow, you know. And all those younger folks, they looked up to him, so. I kind of like that part, so. <laughs> I can't elaborate much about that part, so let's move on. So here are Carl Larson's statement about his mistakes and how 2021 will go. So he states that I'm truly grateful for, for everybody in NASCAR and to appreciate the process. The work I've done over the last few 
months or six months, I say, has made a ma major impact on me. However, I will make the most of this opportunity and look back or look forward to the future. <laughs> I'm going to say backwards. Sorry. <laughs> so, what you guys think of the article from Jay Ski? I can tell you, Jay Ski is my go to website or to say source, reliable source. Like, I don't hear many people say, oh, I heard breaking news from Jay Ski. And I've used it since 2003, and I have never imagined a breaking news that Kyle Larson just took a year off just to think about what he done and help people like Jack and Joyner Kersey, what else, Willie T. Ribs, who else? Those are all the drivers or the athletes I thought about in my head and realized they're trying to make play a small part in Larson's thinking in his process of saying, hey, you have to learn how to communicate, you know? You can say one racial slur and it'll all go upside down, you know? And sorry this video is too long. <laughs> I'm just really excited that Kyle Larson's back and he'll He'll come back and blaze some guns and run up front again, you know. Keep making the chase every season. Hopefully he gets to the final four next year or a few years from now. So hopefully Rick Hinder will give him the best equipment possible to really make up for what he lost. So, so this is special news from my room in Virginia <laughs> okay sorry <laughs> I'm AK Apricorn 957 hope you all have a great evening and peace out